one. We're going to be, well, I'm not going to be doing let's play on this. Um, but I'm just going to talk about it because I think this is a game that I think everyone should be playing. Or at least play once. It's, uh, it's on um, Steam for about $20, I believe. Um, it was uh, originally a um, Kickstarter by JJ. JJ Signal, I believe. Um, um, I guess he went under, under the um, rallies. It's kind of confusing because it's on Wikipedia, it states he's a, a director of this and mid boss helped create this game, so I don't know how that goes. But regardless, um, this is his game, I suppose. And I don't know if my volume is correct here, but it doesn't matter. Is my mic even set up? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm just gonna... This game starts you in a cyberpunk world in San Francisco, Neo San Francisco, um, where pretty much... Neo uh, San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world is on the cusp of not one. Basically, it's like any other cyberpunk world where the corporations has taken over. It's basically the corporation is the um I lost my train of thought. <laughs> basically the, the corporation has taken over the um it's basically the they're not so much the political people, uh, at least from my understanding that they're just really ingrained into the politics because they have um access to the most technology in the in the world basically uh, but yeah you basically start as a journalist um, and it's a point and click uh, venture and you start as a journalist who's basically needing to write an article um, you interact with the environment that's, um, with the point and click feature it will always be in this kind of style so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty much, it's a simple game. Occasionally you'll get puzzles. I don't know if I'll play enough to get to that point. Um, there's supposed to be a multiple endings on this. It's, um, so it has a lot of off to offer on that uh, front. Let's see, take milk. Always take the spoiled milk. It's just it's probably the best part of this game, honestly. <laughs> Then you can do this. You can always interact with things like most adventure games. So if the spoiled milk, clearly water from the sink is an option right now, but this gross spoiled milk is definitely not a nutritious alternative. And of course, you just look and poke around and see what kind of stuff you see. You take a sip of old stale coffee, the letters F and K seem clear as day. I'm also, it's also really gross. There's a lot of sarcasm, a lot of, um, it's basically what you expect from a uh, decent adventure game. Uh, Spill of Milk is still old copy, yum. <laughs> but, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, the story, let's see if I can get further into the story. Uh, basically, as I, re I said before, you play as a journalist, but, um, however, eventually a robot breaks into your apartment and into your apartment and informs you that Hayden's been abducted and Hayden is your like is your best friend in the whole situation. And that's kind of what brings out onto this whole situation is you're looking for your best friend. for mind frame. I'm like trying to not be a let's play, but I'm also trying to also educate whoever's watching this to go play this game, but this is not, yeah, I don't know. So let's uh, just read some of this fan mail. 
get chop cat what? Get cheap crash cash? Crash? Only 99 crest for 30 days supply 12 212 st uh stims. Weekly update. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source of classic technology. Other popular uh, pieces this week, King of Click, a perspective on the classical model and keyboard. Preston knives, exertion cannot be modified. <laughs> account is past due in the amount of 216 credits. Failure to pursue account may result in termination or services. Puff of Power Company. Alright, let's continue on with this. Uh, oh, we're done with the article there. You can also do other things too, like uh, listening to the uh, headphones. So there's a lot of options to interact with the environment. Um, we'll submit this further ahead. Some situations, um, if you don't do your, if you don't successfully talk your way into certain situations, it may affect certain branches of the story. I'm not sure though. I've only played it once, so I'm not entirely sure what what conditions are what. And honestly, that's I don't know. Why are you using that dinosaur to begin with? All my work is on there. Over it. I didn't even back up your data drives before the crash. And there's a lot of dialogue. That's why I don't think I could ever do a, uh, a proper let's play on this. Aside from the fact that it's a good mystery story. It's not the most insightful mystery story, but it's, it's pretty good, it's enjoyable, and I don't think I could ever do a service of uh, a Let's Play. I don't think I could do a service of this game with a Let's Play. So, this is more of just a way of um, getting people aware of this game. Has he hated in years? Where is he? I don't know. That's why I'm here. You help me, you aren't quite my only hope, but certainly the most statistically supported. I have done the math. So he goes on about... Well, obviously you can read this. Um, so the mystery basically starts, centers around looking for Hayden. And like any good mystery, you learn start getting introduced to new people, to um, other situations. It's quite a fun ride, but I don't, like I said before, I don't know how many branches there are, what really, um, I don't know. I'm trying to get more of the game out of here. I'm going to probably go through all these dialogue quickly. <laughs> 
if you want to read it, you can always buy the game. It's only 20 bucks on Steam. It's worth the price. But, um, one of the interesting aspects of this world is the fact that there is a, um, there's a, society has basically accepted the, um, LGBT, um, movements. And, um, okay, right, kind of lost my thought there. Um, basically they had some of the LGBT movement, so there's a lot of, um, so you'll see, like, a lot of, um, transgenders, um, certain people using different pronouns. You even get an option to change your pronoun at some point. <laughs> in the introductory, uh, in the prologue. Uh, but there's like, same-sex uh, couples on there, um, you also get people, transgenders, it's just all sorts of things. It's not even a, uh, you would think this would be a, uh, kind of like a, I don't know how to explain that, but, uh, like when I first played, I was a little bit worried it was going to be like, kind of like a social justice warrior kind of um, atmosphere, like they were going to be kind of pushing the issue as if, like they were trying to make something to push this issue, but it's not the case. It's really it's such a normality in this game that you don't really think about it, at least I didn't think about it playing it, but it is there, it's something that I think mostly gamers will be aware of, but the game itself does not put any attention to it, it's just a aspect of this world. And that's what I'm trying to say about that. But, um, as far as the other stuff in this world, aside from the mystery, god, this goes on so long. <laughs> but, um, trying to talk over all this, it's so jarring in my head because I feel like I should read this. Sex human revolution where the augmented are being, um, there's like some tension between people with um, augments and being normal. But in this case, you also got people who are more or less, I think, like genetically modified, so they look like animals. So there's that. It's a very weird blend of, um, so here we go, this is like a puzzle of sorts, not necessarily, but it teaches you how to interact with the environments. So, you kind of go exploring. 
I kind of know where to go on this point, but they're like game consoles you can interact with, but they're not really going to do anything. But I kind of want to show you more of the world. Honestly, I feel like I could uh, load a save on here, but why should I do that? Also, it's very kind of a game because you can't screw up. I think the only time there's a death, um, a fail state, like a major fail state where you have to restart the game, is at the very end of the game. And that's the only time I know. Everything else, you can fail, you can fuck up, and it will. There will still be a way to go through the game, which I appreciate greatly because it, it just it, it doesn't ruin the experience. Uh, let's jump around a little bit though. Anyways. Eh, this is good. So you got places like the coffee shop, Ramona, she is a half bio, or not bio, um, she is modified, uh, modified, she has a robotic arm, she also got a robot. In this uh, universe, there's ROMs, uh, hence the name, which are basically robots. Um, you got... No. It's more dialogue. <laughs> These are um, Starfucker and also Oliver. That's their names, or their nicknames. They're a bunch of punks who, um, who decides to help you out, basically. They're just teenagers. That, they're actually quite interesting characters. At least to me. Um, in this situation, they're trying to get um, some, uh, I think, passports. You have to do something for someone. 
to get information. I won't go into detail though because it's. I at least hope this doesn't spoil anything. Just Christ. <laughs> Let me go. I want this to show the viewers everything. So this is just a bus station. Nothing really here, but the graphics are interesting. Um. So you got like. These are pretty much all your places you get to go to. There's some other areas that you only go once. Which is kind of a shame because I want to see more of the supposed cr cr uh, crime ridden areas. And you don't ever go into the more gritty areas. It's just, there's no grit. <laughs> and it's a shame because everyone kind of, there's a atmosphere that, a danger. But there's no danger. Music's pretty good too. I think this is the best music ever. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.